If you're looking for a one-stop shopping experience, Banggood may be your new go-to. It's a global online shop offering a variety of different choices, from consumer electronics, tools, home appliances, toys, sports, to even clothing. When I tell you guys that I'm obsessed with this new keyword from them, I mean, it's so cute, and it even goes up when you type. Now, if you're looking into building up your desk space, Banggood has it all. They have several different colorways to choose from. I've definitely been eyeing the matcha keycap set because it's absolutely stunning. I've also just been loving the color green lately. Make sure to visit the links in the description box down below to shop Banggood. And if you're interested in the keyboard I'm using throughout this video, link will be in the description box. She gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Pull up with the kids, stop it. Pull up with a stick, stop it. Rich nigga shit, stop it. Oh, honey, back is riding. Got it. I go to space with the stars. Might smoke a blunt on my body. Got a moon, earth, and Mars. The direction we were moving was clear now. Without wanting it. This is like my 10th cup of vitamin C from this week. So yeah, I had a giant pen. Luckily, this one doesn't taste bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Speaking of books, I actually picked up two the other day at Barnes and Noble. They had 50% off hardcovers, which I was actually going to pick up Atomic Habits, but they were all sold out, obviously, so that sucked. I picked up two poetry books, actually. It's interesting because I hated poetry in uh, English literature, mainly because the poems that I was reading were very complex, hard to understand, but then again, I think it's just because I didn't read that much and I wasn't into poetry, but I do love a good love poem. So I picked these two up. This one from titles, To the Woman I Once Loved. 
I just, I'm ready to be sad and read poems that make me sad and that are about love and make me feel something because that's what gets me most of the book is anything that can make me tear up, anything that can make me happy, giddy for a relationship that's happening. I will love it. And I also picked up this one, which is, uh, says, sorry, I haven't texted you back. My mood board for 2022 represents adventure, happiness, success, and hard work. This year, I want to reinvent myself and push towards my goals and future success. I'm really excited for this new beginning and the possibilities are endless. After what felt like three hours, I'm finally back in Fullerton. That was a rough drive. Not only was it raining, it was just so foggy and it was a long drive and I'm exhausted and my head hurts. Luckily, some packages came in the mail, which just cheered me up. I got a new duvet cover that I have been wanting for a while. I got this color. Because you guys know I love the color green. So I picked up a duvet set in the color sage green. It's actually very pretty. So let's set this up. Okay guys, tip for getting your avocados, you want to grab two that are like not ready, so they're like really hard, they're like super green also, like these. You gotta give it a taste test. Yeah. Just... Mm. Not right. Oh no, no, no. These are all kind of not ready, but you get the gist. This one's kind of mushy, so this would be ready like tomorrow if you wanted to eat it tomorrow. Just a little tip for picking avocados. This year, I'm going to incorporate healthy recipes into my life and grocery shop weekly, except only grabbing the items I'll need for the week so that food doesn't get wasted. If you do have any favorite go-to healthy recipes or protein-focused meals, feel free to share them down below. All right, we got very healthy drink choices. We're gonna taste test the Corfo aloe. I'm gonna pronounce it after that. Cheers. Cheers. It literally doesn't even taste like anything. It actually it tastes not like, bad. It's actually pretty good. But it just tastes like water with lemon tastes, in it. Yeah. If you want to try this, just go drink water with lemon. One thing you can't forget to do this year is have fun. Be young and stupid at times. But be careful, of course. Don't be afraid to live in the moment. Why not throw water balloons in the rain? Kiss that boy you see at a party. Live beautifully because our time is now. <laughs> Start your competitions. Start doing in the new year is just 
incorporating healthier diets. So I want to start eating fruit or vegetables, have it be a part of a breakfast and a dinner. Of course, that requires me to go grocery shopping more often. So that's something that hopefully with my car being up here for the next year, I can do that because that would really help. And I love going grocery shopping. Just eating breakfast every morning because it's something I don't do. I'm gonna make that a habit in the upcoming year. It's important to eat and have a healthy eating routine and eating three meals a day if you can. I have no storage on my phone, yet I keep filming on it. I'm gonna take this shot because last night, whatever drink that I drink seemed to boost up my immune system. I feel great and I feel like it also like really cleared out my gut, so TMI, but anyways, we're gonna take this one. This one actually looks the most appetizing, but I know this is probably gonna be disgusting. Cheers. Oof. Ooh. Oh, it's not that bad though. Really not that bad. <sighs> these are so cute, by the way. I'm gonna definitely be keeping these for who knows what, but uh, yeah. In each of my manifestations, I make sure there isn't room for uncertainty. For example, I will be America's next top model. I am happy and successful. Speaking things into existence and knowing they will happen has worked best for me when it does come to manifestations. Try this as an affirmation. I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. After writing down my manifestations, I find that repeating each one while envisioning it happen in the future has worked best for me. Just seeing and believing that it will happen makes it more likely to actually come true. When I tell you guys that for me, manifesting has genuinely worked, I wouldn't be BSing you guys. I could show you my journal and point out each thing that has happened in my life. It takes an hour to 30 minutes of your time to do these, so why not give it a shot, especially to start off your year in the best way possible. Also for the new year, my new thing is gonna be new hairstyles because what, what is this? I have been wanting to get into therapy for quite some time now. And I think it's something that I definitely want to incorporate into the new year. I think you can only really benefit from therapy. Might as well give it a shot. If you don't like it, you don't have to go back. Luckily, I do have better help to try this out. So I am actually gonna schedule my first session right now, right this second, because I will put it off for so long. And guys, check out the new lock screen obsessed i think i'll have mine go for january 4th i think i'll do a morning session so that i can like wake up get the morning started and just talk about my feelings and life there's a lot of things that i haven't been able to talk about i was going through a life crisis because i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life i still don't but i think talking about it to someone might help and understanding those feelings would really um help me out because i uh, i need that call me at this number I just booked my first session for therapy. That's so cool. Yeah, this is actually so cool. I just looked at this now, but they have like a journal section on BetterHelp. You can like write out journals. They even have like a journal suggestion. It says, I know that I need to step back and take care of myself when. That's actually so cool. And I think I might even take advantage of it and use it. Listen to this guys. And remember, because men, correct, boys are not shit it is not your duty to be the reflection of the woman they imagine you ought to be loving you means accepting you who you have potential to become should have nothing to do with them you're just as sexy just as beautiful just as strong just as unique when you shove who you are to sell someone who isn't you in order to get love you're reducing your worth in their eyes good shit good shit my favorite thing about the new year is the possibility for new beginnings I want to say hi to strangers and be bold and fight for what I want. I want to focus on my studies and I want to put myself first this year. Be open to learning new things, to failure, to success, 
to love and new friends. If you're looking to build your dream life this year, this is where you can start. Build the best version of yourself. Rebrand your life. I'm excited for this new chapter ahead of us. And with all that being said, beautifuls, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye, babes. Love you.